Hey, welcome to another episode of Learning to Fly. I'm dog sitting for for these three reprobates this week, and uh, the house is actually really near Kemble, so I've got lots of interesting planes going overhead, which has certainly kept me happy. And the rest of the time, I'm working on this video, which is my second dual navigation. My first one was to clench common and back. There's a two-part episode for that. Hey, pops. Uh, you can actually click the link in the top right now and I'll link it in the description below if you want to watch it afterwards. Really interesting insights. The second one is to Endstone, so I haven't flown there before either. And yeah, all right, okay, hello. And uh, it, was, it was an interesting flight. We learned how to leave the circuit uh, in a slightly different way rather than joining the overhead and departing on a waypoint. So there's lots of interesting stuff learnt here and definitely watch my next couple of videos because that's all leading up to my solo which I've actually just done to Endstone which was a bit interesting but for now enjoy this video please like stick a thumbs up comment subscribe all the rest of it whatever you have to do you know click the bell and I'll um I'll throw this for you see you in a bit Golf in the Sierra runway 08 grass take off your discretion the wind calm taking off Golf in the Sierra okay Numbers are lying with the runway. Numbers are lying with the runway. Golf Charlie Charlie. Sorry, line will have a longer than normal takeoff roll. Okay. Yep. Where okay. are you going? Happy. Golf Charlie yeah. Charlie, report cross wind. Keep a good look out for traffic join uh, entering the, 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 the zone and to join cross. So, RPM yeah, Max. Airspeed's coming alive. Golf Mike Alpha, final plan zero eight. Rotate nose down to the climb. Golf Mike Alpha, runway zero eight grass. Land your discretion, the wind calm. Golf Mike Alpha. So what you can do here is just reduce your power, lower low the nose and reduce the power a bit. So yep. I've got just one gone, just gone over the top, joining crosswind, I saw his shadow go across. Oh, OK, good spot. All right, but now you can turn out low level <laughs> on route. OK. So if you stay not above 600 feet. Coffee to you, Roger. Have a good flight. Bye-bye. Bearing in mind, some people joining crosswind for zero 08. Yep. 600 feet. Yep. We'll join crosswind right out here. Some of them fly ridiculous, huge circuits. Wow. I saw somebody earlier joining crosswind virtually over Kemble Village here, which is really silly. Myself, so, able 180 that's lovely. So, initially, you need to be on Stratton Heights, don't you, look? Yep. Which is to the left. Yep. We're too far right. Yeah, moment. we are. Golf, so. Charlie, Charlie, crosswind. But let's get to the right waypoint, because when you leave an aerodrome, yeah. you, 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 you know, one of the conventional things to do is to climb through the overhead, yeah. and then you hit your stopwatch in the overhead, uh, and then you exactly go. en route. Yeah. So to save time, we've done a little dodge here, we've come straight off 08, yeah. and turned off en route, but of course, zero, you know, we turned at the edge of the ATZ, your yeah, 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 line yeah, yeah. is from the middle yeah. there. Yeah. So, <coughs> That's right, so we just cut back. Tango Alpha Tango Sierra Kemble, okay. runway 08 right hand circuit, the QFE yeah, 1020. Goes. Uh, 08 right turn 1020, we have uh, 8 miles to run from the south. This line goes uh, right, uh, right smack over the middle of uh, Stratton Heights. Okay, so that's you can, that you there can, or? Well, If you go through the gap, look, yep, yep. as we're low level, yep. if you go through the gap, we will then pick up our first waypoint. Yes. Just yes. on the north side of Just of there, yeah, Heights, yeah. 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 Cool, okay. And in, in fact, you can start to climb now because you're well clear of the... Yeah, okay. So you, actually, before you do that, let me get a picture of... Oh, yeah, get a picture. Of the... Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on, camera. Of the Abbey. Camera, yeah, just slow down a bit. There we go, that's a good shot there. Slow down, slow down, slow down. That's a nice shot in, in, uh, in the... Is this sunlight. the doors open? <laughs> Because we know there are compass errors in the climb when you're accelerating, decelerating, turning, yep. Yep. we'll just get to the altitude you want to cruise at, yep. and then let's recheck your heading. Yep. Okay. Oh, and we also hit check the time as well. Oh yeah. Well, that was only about four minutes from takeoff to the that's first waypoint. Yeah, that's so amazing. We've got a bit of a tailwind, I think. 
Oh, I'm going to do a 3D check. Okay. Cool, 25 litres, radio we've said goodbye. Uh, engine temperatures and pressures, temps quite high, so do you know what? Let's level out at 4,000 feet. Uh, Frida, Frida, D direction, I'm going to track those two fields and I've drifted to the right slightly. Altitude, I've changed to uh, to an H. So do you know what I can do? I can actually punch in Edstone, can't I? 129.880, so, OK, so I've got a tendency, I wonder if it's the wind or something, but there's a tendency to drift slightly left, but we're just about, so we've got a small, I'm going to do ground to map, not rely on the GPS. We've got a town approaching on our left and a very small village on the right with some lakes between the two. Yeah. Um, and I know we're coming up to the three quarters of the waypoint in terms of time. There's the lakes. Be an airfield on our right, I'd imagine, but that, that's, that's going from map to ground, so that's the wrong way there. Well, look for it. Hangers. Yeah. Yeah, great. Exactly. So we want to have that on the right hand side, which is good. Yeah. And what's this town here then? Let's see. Bort Borton on the water. Oh, yep, yep, Borton. Yes, yes, yes. So that's Borton. Great. So that's kind of between the two. It's from yeah, OK, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we're on track. Yeah. Would you say so? Yeah. So the Little Rizington is probably your most significant Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, though you've got the Foss Way, it's still a very distinctive yeah, absolutely. line there, with Borton on the Water down here. Yep. So, Borton on the Water is your third waypoint on this leg. Yep. So, we've been... Yeah, about three minutes time. Yep. Five, ten, fifteen, yeah. Five minutes a leg, is that what you worked out? Roughly? Yeah. Well, what's happening now is that you're heading straight for Little Risington. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. If you look at your map, look at the juxtaposition between... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on, where are we? Little Risington there. Yeah. yeah. There's the Foss Way over here, look. Yeah. There's Little Risington. There's yeah. the Foss Way, the other side. Yeah. So you're way to the right. Yeah. yeah. There's the lakes. Yeah. And even on the half mill map, you can see that. Well, you're, you're over the you're over the right side of the lakes. Yes. yes. Even so, you come off your come, you come off, off your track. heading. Yeah, my heading, which should be zero four zero ish. So get back to the lakes, and then pick up zero four zero again. So that, there's the Foss. There's Little Risington. Yeah, and we should be about in the middle. Yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. So back on the zero four zero. Let's see if that's working out. What yeah. town is that over there? Let me see. Uh, Can you tell me what town that is. That's Stowe. Stowe on the Wold. Yeah, yeah. yeah so and we yeah. seem to be. Aiming on right. my mind, that's that should be about three miles to our left. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Good time. So the significant thing here... It's the railway line we should be looking for. And it's not just the railway line, it's the, the disused road. railway line. Disused, right. So if you look down to the Foss Way down there... Yeah, that's this, isn't it? Snaking through. And then and then you can see the disused railway line? Yep, yep. OK, so the disused railway line comes around a bend. Yep. Look. Yep. And we should be... Look, if you look at... There's, there's, there's the Foss, and there's the disused railway line right next to it. We're not far out. Not miles out. Actually, no, you're not far out. A bit fast. Just but I've, I've just seen the waypoint ahead, and it is just, it's just a tiny two degrees to our left. Yeah. So, is, so this is the railway. We're gonna. Is this right? This, this is the railway down here. Am I right? Yeah, that's this it. Used one. Yeah. So we're we're about to cross it. But also look at the bigger picture here. Look, there's yeah. another town out there. Yep. With another airfield. Look, can you see the airfield? I can. Yeah. It's yeah, got yeah. lots of buildings on it. Yeah. That's Morton in the Marsh. I think it's the National oh, Fire right. Fire right. Training Services Training Centre. Okay. That's Morton in the Marsh. Yeah. But look down there from Morton in the Marsh. Can you see the railway line? Yeah. Yeah. And it's in a valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we yeah. can see that clearly on the half mill yes. map. Yes. There's a valley sweeping through here. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And there's yeah, the yeah. railway line there, the other side. Yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We know our waypoint is on that railway line. Okay. And in actual fact, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're pretty, pretty, pretty back on. Yeah, there's the waypoint down there. Oh yeah, yes. You see yeah, where yeah, the, yeah. 
Yeah, the I do. Road. Yeah, yeah. Crosses the railway. Yeah, I do, yeah. So we're uh, about two miles? No, a mile? Yeah, no. so your issue is getting your next turn point right. Yeah. So you've really got to get to that waypoint before you turn east. So you've got to make sure you get to the line, now you can turn right. On your east to Lee Heading. Yep, there's clear. Right, let's go. Increase the power a bit. Checking above. Anticipate. Yeah, okay. Over. Yeah, that's probably easy if you do your checks there. So that's right, time check. Yeah, so yeah, what was yeah. your time? Is a halfway. What was your total uh, time for this leg? Uh, total time like for this leg is seven minutes. Okay. Go on, left turn 1036, helicopter. Okay, don't be positive. So our ETA is 1711. Okay. Alright. I can see it. I'm pretty sure I can see it stone as well. How do we know that's Chipping Norton? Uh, well, I mean, I've, because I've just made the turn and I'm on an easterly heading, yeah. and I know I was above my waypoint, the next town to my left on the map is here, Yeah. Chipping Norton. Just uh, down there, there's a huge old mill with a tall chimney. Yep. That's Chipping Norton. Yeah, uh, okay. So, a lot of towns, when you get used to them, you, you can safely identify them by certain features. Certain yeah. features, yeah. Uh, Cyrus yeah. to the Abbey. Yeah. yeah. We need to announce our intentions, don't we? Yeah, I'm just trying to listen to them. I need to drop a tower in, descending inside to runway 08, left hand circuit. Tower on tower, Roger. Oh, I didn't catch that. Headstone radio, Golf Golf Romeo Lima Sierra. Oh, Golf Romeo Lima Sierra, Headstone radio, plus one. Uh, we're overhead, shipping north and inbound from Campbell, Golf Golf Romeo, Lima Sierra. Lima Sierra, Roger, runway 08, can you use the left hand circuit to QRC 1018? 08 left hand, 1018, Golf Lima Sierra. Lima Sierra, what's your aircraft type? Uh, it's a Sky Relax, Sky Ranger Micro Light. Golf Lima Sierra, Jim. 3 to check. Fuel, 20 litres, radio, we're back. listening to Endstone. Engine two speeds are good, the direction, we're still on the easterly and we're visual with Endstone itself and I need to do 1018. That's it. Which is there. The so other way of doing it is when you're given a, a new pressure do it setting is away. to change. You know, I, sh I think I should because of all the things I forget, yeah. it is that check. So. Alright, so start, start what? a cruise descent to 2000 feet. And Golf, Golf Romeo Lima Sierra is now overhead. The numbers commencing a dead side descent. Golf Lima Sierra down with land, land at 08. Golf Lima Sierra, are you using the hard or off my glass? Hard. Hard Golf Lima Sierra. Okay, uh, there's two in the circuit now for the uh, north side grass and uh, helicopter just lifted off and the might be out. What is your gone around? Roger that right, Golf Lima Sierra. And you can turn left face now. Okay. Now you can land well up because we're going to vacate at the other end. So pop a bit more power on. Keep the speed under control. A bit more power. Go up, up, and down. A bit more power. Right, north side, right, right, right. Okay, right. Roger. Roger. Put a full flap on. Two. Question number one for north side grass now. Roger. A bit more power. We're going to land well down this. Same as here. Right, right, hard. Nothing known to affect. Oh, we've got a twin zero nine or zero degrees less than five. Got me with the arrow landing. And lovely. Yours. Hold off, right rudder, left stick. Right rudder, left stick. It's okay. <laughs> right rudder, left stick. Permanent recording of that. In oh the no, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> right rudder. So there we go, that was my flight to Endstone. Next time I'll, uh, I'll work on getting the video of the return journey done as soon as possible. All pretty straightforward and a uh, nice little join coming back, crosswind join into Kemble. So that was, uh, I'll make a short video of that as well. The one I'm really excited about, and if you follow me on Instagram, Ben Learning to Fly by the way, definitely go do that too. 
Uh, you'll have seen that my solo Navex to Endstone didn't got quite go to plan. That has already happened just a few days ago. So I'm going to get that video done for you as well. And then we'll be, we'll be up to date. Um, so I've just got to do that. My solo to clench common as well. And then I'll be doing some general skills test GST revision with and without my instructor. So there's a busy few times. I've still got to pass my MET exam as well. So it's all happening. But uh, definitely subscribe to so you don't miss out on that solo Navex video. So that's quite an interesting one to look forward to. In the meantime, have a wicked one and I'll catch you next time.